Hi everybody, I'm just in Trafalgar Square at the moment. I'm just going to pop down and see a few of the London sites. So I'm going to go down to Buckingham Palace and have a look around and see what's happening. See the life in London. Life back to normal, apparently. <laughs> So it's nice to see London coming back to life. Nice to see some people around. A year for a year ago from this day, I was walking around here completely in silence with no one here. So good to see it back in action. This is the plinth where they put pieces of art, and this seems to be the one at the moment. Bugs on ice cream. It's kind of fitting, isn't it? and a drone, a drone on an ice cream. To St. James's Park now, amazing building. And the Latin at the top there. If anyone knows exactly what that means, please say. I'd really like to know. Kind of got a walk on the road here, renovations. St. James's Park, this is where the Queen resides, apparently. Got Buckingham Palace right down there. And I've got to go walk all the way down there, and I don't know if I want to. This is the Duke of York statue, and we cannot forget the nursery rhyme. We have all these statues and symbols all around us, and yet people just kind of walk past them obliviously. Plenty of money being spent on the films at the moment. Yeah, give me some budget. Got a big old, big old crew there. Yeah, I like to come out in London, look at, see what's going on, you know, get an energy, get a feel for the place. So 10 minutes later, I'm here. Wow. Well, what an evening for it. Beautiful. Lovely night. Lovely. So the palace was built in 1703 as Buckingham House and it later became Buckingham Palace. The statues you're seeing outside the front of Queen Victoria were built in the early 20th century. So these weren't built all at the same time as they've been sold off many times to different families. And this is really beautiful. Kind of cool. Nice, so I'm sort of like behind Parliament. You see Parliament's just over there. All these symbols and crests representing families and tribes, coats of arms were originally created in the 12th century as the purpose of identification. They then were taken up by kings and queens and other major controllers. The shield is always the heart of the system. You guys have to stand there like that, right? For hours, bless them. I'm just popping up to Marble Arch. I'm going to check out some of the shopping and see what the hell that's going on. There's a lot of, a lot of statues in London some that I've never even seen, but this is the War Memorial. Here we go, we can actually read it up there. This memorial was dedicated to 55,573 airmen from the United Kingdom, British Commonwealth and Allied Nations who served in the RAF Bomber Command and lost their lives over the course of the Second World War. Very sad times. So the fighters are our salvation, but the bombers alone provide the means of victory. Winston Churchill, September 1940. So we're just coming into Hyde Park now. You know, life is very short and very special. Just get yourself out there and put things, express yourself, express what you want. Things aren't going to, might change and we might get some return to a sense more freedom. We're never gonna go back to that situation we were before. And we, we have to really keep aware of things that are happening at the moment. If you wanna follow things, look at the financial markets and look at the economic markets and look what's happening there. So I'm just walking through High Park now and coming up to Marble Arch and it's going to pop down Oxford Street. I have no clue what this is but it is bizarre. Well it looks like a load of squatters, I mean that'd be kind of funny wouldn't it? 
people squatting in Marble Arch. I bet it's actually quite cool, but what interesting little place to build it, right? Well, not a little place. So here's Marble Arch. Up to the late 18th century, this place was used for hanging, called the Tyburn Tree, which was erected in the 16th century. And uh, they went on to build Marble Arch in the late 18th century over the top of it and you can find a plaque somewhere around here but not sure where so yeah this is basically comes out of marble arch and then we just come onto the top of oxford street yeah let's go and check out the shoppers see what they're up to we're up the other end of oxford street and you can see center point just right down there so i'm going to walk right the way down oxford street during, that, during the lockdown, they were building so many shops along here, and you can see pretty much what's new and what's not, but they have opened up a huge amount of shops along here. New buildings, multi-storey complexes of shops and stuff. Yeah, there's masses of building going on along Oxford Street. So yeah, a lot of shops closing down, and shops seem to be closing earlier at the moment, but it's nice to see people around, and people out and about and together. People smiling, it's nice very significant statue on top of Selfridges again that a lot of people just will blindly ignore I just think it will get more and more kind of tech in London there's lots of little shops that kind of sell souvenirs and stuff but I don't think they're going to do very well with the amount of tourists that are in London I know this all exists but we we don't have to focus on it there is a vast world out there with many choices but choose the right choices be aware but don't attach to it right be aware of these situations you understand what human energy is we can understand a lot more about this whole situation there's so many mixed opinions and it can really do your head in when somebody comes out with a statement that you or they're acting in a certain way it can really be insane all right, so just coming up to Oxford Circus and they're going to pop down Top Court Road and just find a finish up there. Yeah, hey, mate. Lovely. Take care of yourself, all right? Thank you. Take care. Have a nice evening, mate. Breaks up the energy, so good. I sometimes wonder whether or not the world has been designed to for people to be in fear of individuals and I think that's really it but yeah everybody should have opinions and speak their mind you know that's that's what we're here to do we're here to do that express who we are you know what do we live 90 100 years 100 years if we get a good life and for anyone that's encountered anyone close to them in their family that's died they'll understand the importance of what I'm saying and what I'm talking about. People lack appreciation of this world and how incredible it is and appreciation for each other as well. You know, that's what we're here for. All this was not, this is new. This is, I think, opened in the last six months or maybe longer, but yeah, not being long here. I mean, this was all like part of Soho. So they've just kind of demolished the whole lot. I kind of like the old London, but you know, I'm learning to not be concerned with the old and, and, look, and look more into the new, because I think that's where we're headed, we're, no matter what. And good or bad, we needed a shift. So yeah, it's kind of busy. It's kind of like busier. I mean, this is all completely new. Yeah, finished off like six months ago, completely empty by the looks of it still. 
it's all depressing really when you think about all the businesses shut up i mean is it over f uh, something like four over three four hundred thousand businesses have been shut down or affected by lockdown in a big way while 600 more billionaires have been created i mean that's just shocking right some little exercises for you guys so if you're watching this and you're, if you're new to my channel I do a lot of awakening content and ways you can activate yourself in a different way I'm looking to approach this in a different way every day do a list of 10 things that you appreciate in your life and give them gratitude give them love you know whether or not it's a person or a situation whatever it is give it appreciation appreciate your circumstances because this is a, a very slim chance that you're even on this planet the chances of physical life existing are quite incredible and and, and gi giving that appreciation will lead to a lot of gratitude and when you have gratitude you can attract positive things in your life and it's a lot easier to anyway and you know that's kind of what we want to do we want to attract positive situations and you know release this negativity that's in the world and move on I believe that we will be in a much better point in the future but that will be a little while yet and it's, this is going to take some time just make sure your health and mental well-being is the best it can be and just keep going strong can you believe it there's an old phone box look at that oh there you go guys if you want one, some of that and back to center point well not back to center point but you you, you from the one of the last vlogs you remember where center point was so thank you for watching everybody if you haven't already please subscribe and until next week i will see you then thank you very much that's the end of my show that's all the time and energy i have for right now thank you all so much for listening